So, hello guys, I am back from another review and today we're talking about what if Deku was a Wendigo. So, this is going to be a brand new series in the channel, so I hope you like this series because, well, dear, um, well, I absolutely love Wendigos and their legends, so I'm really happy for, like, everybody that decided to make, um, uh, decided to vote for this. So, yeah, I hope you like this series. So, let's start off with the story. So, Izuku's in, well, a large cave with several rooms and other types of, uh, and other types of like, weird, how gonk we in magic. Because, well, if you don't know, well, Wendigos are, are in, like, the how gonk we in and Canadian, like, folklore. So, yeah. And Izuku starts eating a person. Izuku starts eating it a lot, as Izuku says. I'm hungry. Must feed. Yeah. Izuku hears some more noise. Izuku starts uh, charging. Uh, starts running into the forest as he starts climbing on the wall, on the trees. Izuku sees like several elk. Izuku drops down and starts ripping them apart, and he starts eating them. Um, Wendigos are mostly associated with hunger and, um, and, um, well, and cannibalism, so, I'm decided to make Izuku a cannibal, but also likes eating, like, um, anything that, that it's food, or at least, like, send, like, anything that's edible. He starts eating it, as Izuku says, <sighs> I'm so hungry. So, Izuku starts remembering something about his past. So, this is going to be a flashback, so, please don't get annoyed at me, because, well, just, just listen to this. So, yeah, Zuko back when he was, like, well, three, wait for a second, guys. When Zuko was three, Izuku um, goes on a trip with his family, being his mother and father, being Asashi and Inko. Inko brings him to a cabin, where... They get caved in by some snow, and it's been several weeks um, uh, when they started like living in that cabin. His father sacrificed himself so, um, so Inko and Izuku can survive by letting, letting them eat his own flesh. And then when he died, they started surviving more until... Um, Izuku starting getting frail and weak. As Inko says to Izuku, Izuku, just eat me. As Izuku says, what, mama? As she basically stabs herself, killing herself. As Izuku starts crying. Because that's the only parent that he only... He only had two parents, but both of them died just for his survival. As Zuko starts eating it, and well, in legend, um, the one the 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 way to become a Wendigo is basically like eating your loved one. So yeah, Izuku eats Inko as something happens to him. His eyes start turning into a dark blue. As it as he starts sprouting antlers, as he starts growing. And growing until he looks like he's about like 10 feet tall. Actually, not 10 feet. It's more like, um, let me check. He's about 6 feet tall. As Izuku starts breaking through the ice as he gets out of the cabin. As he starts running through the forest, finding more food. Because he became a Wendigo. All Wendigos are forever cursed with a unsatiable appetite, forever filled with the feeling of hunger. They're forever starving, wanting more and more. So, after that flashback, Izuku says, Meast must feed, meat sustenance. As Suzuku sees a, well, another cave. The cave seems to have 
well, several rooms like, just like Izuku's, um, well, cave, but except it has, like, several bones of, like, animals, and, and in the middle of it, there's a large cauldron, as Izuku sees a young girl, as she basically uh, brings out some sort of, like, staff, as it basically blasts a, um, a, bla like, green energy at Izuku, Izuku says, you sustenance must feed as the woman says huh, a wendigo how disgusting because you're an animal guess i'll just tell you my name my name is alice i'm a skinwalker a skinwalker is basically well a witch i'm able to create creatures and control others and animals i'm also able to transform into an animal myself but you killed my familiar so you're gonna pay for that azuka says must fade azuka starts charging in as um as alice being the skinwalker brings out the, like a blade as she starts attacking izuku while izuku starts creating ice like, almost like dark eyes, as Izuku starts, um, basically tries to, like, um, attack her more, as she starts saying, damn it, oh well, guess I'll leave. As she basically disappears, including the cave, uh, when it finally disappears, it's just a patch of grass. Izuku says, made more food, made more <sighs> As he screams up up into the sky, Izuku hears a sound. As Izuku sees, wait for a second. So Izuku hears the sound of well, somebody. As Izuku starts charging in, as Izuku sees, well, some campers. Some of them are like well teenagers. One of them. Is well, it's a girl with well ear jacks, and Izuku thinks must feed. Izuku basically starts talking while starts talking in like is like well, he basically has the ability to basically like um change his voice into anybody. And if you don't know what what you mean by that, well, when they goes have the ability to basically like change their voice so they can misdirect like their um prey so they can eat them. I'm also giving Izuku the ability to basically like um create illusions because well, why the hell not? So yeah, Izuku basically well jumps down as Izuku starts um creating like um. The voice of, well, one of the campers, like, um, 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 deceased, like, um, deceased parents. As Izuku says, please help me, please. As the camper says, mom, dad. As he starts, like, going into the forest. As, um, as the girl with the earjack says, wait, wait, come back. As, um. As um the other one says, all right, let's just go and follow him. So, when they arrive, they see well, just a patch of like um, well, well ice. As they see, what ice? As um, as um the other camper says to the girl with the earjacks, and yes, that's Jiro. As he says, wait. Um, look, um, the, there's something over there, as she sees, well, Izuku nomming on the head, as he says, must breed, as he basically jumps down, as he get, get, and kills, like, the other camper, wait for a second, so, Izuku kills the other camper, as Jiro starts, like, I'm um, running away, 
as Izuku finishes after finishes um eating the other camper, Izuku starts trying to find Jiro. As Izuku um basically like teleports, I meant uh, I I meant teleports. I mean jumps into like the the trees and basically starts um going off getting ready to kill her. She's basically hiding in like the in like his cave. As she basically sees one of Izuku's victims. As she says, what the heck? As Izuku goes back to his cave, Izuku starts crawling on the ground. As Izuku says, hungry must freeze. As Jiro says, uh, are you hungry? As she basically brings out like a, well, a pack of candy. Or like a whole bag of it. As she starts scattering it all around Izuku, as Izuku tries to like um get them because well Izuku can smell something really good, so Izuku star tries to like open it, but he can't because well his hands are too big. After that whole thing, Jiro starts um escaping. As Izuku um finishes eating, he starts um vomiting because well the only thing that he can. The only thing that he can eat is well, um, meat obviously, and actually all meat, nothing else, not any vegetables because well, vegetables make him sick, and also well, um, anything that's like processed, like for example, like candy bars and shit, that also that that also makes him vomit. So yeah, Izuku says hungry as. Izuku says to himself, <sighs> Must, must, must. As Izuku falls down to the ground, as he says to himself, Must sleep. As he falls down to the ground and goes to sleep. So, I hope you liked the video. Comment and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys next time. And also, guys i want all of you guys to pick a ship for izuku so yeah and also guys if you're asking that izuku should be a villain no he's going to be a hero so yeah bye